it is now day 14 of going from noob to pro inside of Roblox block shoots, and I'm very excited. So basically, last episode, I did a bunch of grinding on the hunted pirate ship in order for me to get my first ghoul race. I had to collect a lot of ectoplasm, and then I had to beat the crap out of a boss a bunch of times. But then finally, I got my hands on the ghoul race. And uh, as you can see, you know, it's not really that noticeable since my big hat covers it. But alongside my mask's red horns, I have a pair of black horns right here. And since I now have my race, it's time to awaken it and become even stronger as a demonic ghoul. Also, real quick, I just want to roll and see what I can get because I might need a fruit for later on in order to awaken my race. But, you know, we're going to we're going to find out. OK, I got chop fruit completely useless. Nice. But anyways, in order to get this race awakening started, I have to talk to this man right here called Bartillo. Look at that man's handsome face. Isn't he beautiful? Hey, hey, talk. Thank God you are here. The swan pirates are raiding the towns to prevent any new fires from entering the tournament. Will you help defeat 50 of the swan pirates? Of course. Yes, I will. Swans raid. And then I get $50,000 and 35 million XP. Confirm. Bring it on. And also, real quick, if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe. You don't miss out on any of these episodes. All right, where are these swan pirates at? Is it you? You causing trouble? Guess what, buddy? Time to die. And you know, luckily, thankfully, last episode, we basically fully mastered our superhuman technique. So grinding's gonna be just a little bit super easy for this one. I literally don't even really need to use my Buddha for it anymore because as you can see, all I gotta do is just hit him like four times and then boom, they're dead. And my health is really high now, so they don't really damage me like at all. But now moving forward, I'm starting to think a lot about if I should actually change my fruit because as you guys know I use this little Buddha fruit to grind through the first seas but now that I'm at the second seas you know uh, I have more access to things and you know it's a lot bigger and a lot more room for me to do a lot more things and you know a lot of you were actually commenting down below that I should change my fruit to something that matches the demonic slash ghoul vibe I mean we have our ghoul race now so should we probably go for like a fire or phoenix fruit you guys should comment down below and let me know boom we beat the quest I actually went ahead and bought a double XP for a short amount out of time so i can actually get some levels from that all right buddy i finished your quest hey great work now for their leader find and defeat jeremy the spring spring user actually i think i've already dealt with this jeremy guy when i first arrived here at the second seas no way this man is causing trouble again no way oh hey mr jeremy go ahead and die jeremy boom you're not so strong now are you go ahead hit him up with all the punches yeah take that jeremy boom you're dead i you have have defeated me now speak very well i was brought into the swan pirates family and given the position of coliseum director i have been rigging the events so that my fighters always win when you find master swan tell him i have failed him Ooh, actually got a black spiky coat from healing him too okay go ahead give me that let's go oh we're looking dripped out now no way hello good sir the tournament is back to normal go now free the imprisoned gladiators who are jailed beneath the stadium all right so so in order to complete this next part of the quest, I gotta make my way all the way up here to the mansion. And then I need to look at the code and see what order these are in. Okay, so that's, uh, Y, 8, I think. C, Z, M, F, H, B. Okay, that's the order right there in the chat. And then I gotta go to the big PvP arena stadium. Onward! Okay, and then I need to hit the numbers in order. So it is Y first. Boom, Y. 8 right here. Next is C, and then Z, and then M, F, H, B. Boom. Oh, text popping up. Hello. Please, sir, take this helmet as a token of our appreciation. I got a, I got a helmet. What? Okay, I'm getting all the drip. Wait, let me see what this looks like. Okay. Ooh, I just, I just look goofy now. Okay, but you know, we're gonna keep it, because why not? But actually, you guys should let me know. Is the coat better or is the helmet better? I don't know. Okay, but now that I've freed homeboys over here and over here, I gotta go all the way back to talk to Mr. Bartello again. Okay, am I finally done that's it thank you for your help you're welcome now i can finally move on all right and now for this next part i actually have to make my way all the way to the big plant island over here now so you know might as well go ahead again superhuman speed and then i need to go ahead and talk to this little dude over here called the alchemist hello talk it appears you haven't unlocked your maximum potential yet if you're seeking more power i need you to bring me three different flowers spread across the entire map i'll do it but now i need to go around the map and find these flowers of course first is the red flower that spawns during the day around the map it's either on this island or this island there's actually a lot of spawn locations for this one and all the other flowers you just use the wiki just spend five minutes of your day to read it's not that bad okay 
boom found the red flower at the mansion go ahead give me that okay boom got the red flower and then we can actually go ahead and head on over to these little pirate guys over here again because in order for us to get the next flower which is yellow we gotta go ahead and just uh, beat these guys up so we can get a chance at it dropping and also the only other flower we need to get besides yellow is blue but we need to be nighttime for that which coincidentally is now turning nighttime so it all works out okay come on buddy i know you want to give me a flower all right boom got our yellow flower as you can see right here it actually looks golden that's actually really pretty Ooh, shiny Okay, and now on to our third and final flower, which is the blue one. The first island that we can go ahead and check out is actually the little graveyard area over here that we've been to before. We just gotta move around and look around for it. It could be on any of these graves. It could just be anywhere around this island, honestly. Okay, I actually don't see it over here. So, you know, go ahead. This little island over here, right there in front of us, is also another place we can look. Okay, blue flower, buddy. Are you in here? You hiding in here anywhere? Go ahead, TP up to the top and it is not in here either okay man i feel like i'm hunting for race v4 right now i'm like literally racing against the moon oh my gosh okay come on it has to be here this is really the only other place it could possibly be is it in here no how about here okay no oh i see it's blue flower achieved all right hey goofy guy you, you missed me i'm back good job now i can make the potion but it's not going to be free pay me five hundred thousand dollars to proceed hey thanks i've enhanced your melee attacks they will now heal you by 25 percent of their damage dealt five percent on npcs okay so now that means we should be ghoul race two my horns got a little bit sharper as you can see but now we have a healing factor for damaging people but you know i'm not stopping here i'm going all the way to v3 but in order for me to even be able to do the v3 quest i gotta go ahead and kill mr don swan because this man's getting on my last nerves so go all the way back to the little mansion right here talk to this dude trevor dot 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 Talk! You seem strong. Are you here to join our organization? Sure. Bring me an expensive block suit to prove yourself worthy of speaking to the Don Swansonson. All right. So go ahead into my inventory. I think I can actually use this one, a bomb fruit. So, you know, let me try it out real quick. Talk to the mans right here. Yes, this fruit is garbage, but I'll take it anyways. Find me a better fruit. Wait, what do you mean? You just took my fruit, bro. What? All right, all right. You know what? This dude's pulling my chain, but I'm gonna go ahead. I got two of these bad boys, so you know, might as well just do it. It's an investment, guys. I know you're gonna comment down below that I shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Will you take this one? Yeah? You want it? This is an excellent fruit. You may now speak the swan. All right, so I think we go down here. All right, boom. It's final boss time, and he's not even here. How about a boss respawn? Will that get him in here? Oh, look at him. It's Mr. Don Swansonson. Big mode. Die. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, you did a little bit of a heal. Heal off of this, buddy. Ah. Okay. Oh, he actually almost killed me. Get out of here, dude. Easy. Killed him. That was a piece of cake, actually. Okay. Okay, but now that we've completed that, we can now go ahead all the way over to the big tree over here called the Diamond Hill. And then I need to go ahead and just scrape my face all the way across this wall over here in order to find a secret little door boom i found it and then i need to talk to this guy called the arrow i am arrow a son of rip underscore indra aka the final boss of the game and the owner i trained those less fortunate than i to channel their hidden strengths hidden strengths yes child i know this must be confusing for you but i have been sent here by the gods to teach those who seek my wisdom in order to make their race ability stronger i'm interested excellent talk to me again once you've defeated five players oh so since our race is for doing damage and healing i gotta beat some dudes up ah oh i see a little buddha boy over there he's trying to be sneaky and hide but i see him come here buddies die okay boom kill the one where's the other one die die buddy die okay oh he does a lot of damage oh he killed me or there's always plan B, where you get members from your Discord that, you know, let me kill them. So, uh, by the way, if you ever want to have the chance to help me with videos, go ahead and join my Discord at discord.gg slash xdemon. Alright, go ahead, got them all gathered up, beat them up, beat them up, die! Okay, boom, one down. Let me kill you again. Go ahead, hit them up, hit them up, punches barrage, die! Alright, boom, two. Give me that kill, dude. Boom, three. Oh, you guys want a piece of the demon? Bring it on! Okay, go ahead, damage this dude up. Oh, I'm getting attacked by a random hit him up you're not taking my kill buddy okay come on come on boom that's four no why is this dude butting in who even are you 
Okay, boom, it killed him. That's four. Hit him up, punches barrage. Conqueror gun, dive. Okay, and then boom, that should be the five amount of kills we get. So now we need to go ahead and talk to the dude again. Well done, I, like many toads before me. You're a toad, what? Have used this gift of mine to teach others. Of course though, I charge a cheap price for my craft. Two million dollars should do it. Pay, excellent. Your race has evolved, unlocked hellhound. Ooh, but as you can see, my horns are even stronger sharper and bigger i also have this ability called heightened senses so go ahead oh we got a nice little red aura around us too and we're speedy we're starting to look like the demon devil we're meant to be and then i could also real quick go ahead and talk to this dude and you know equip that hellhound with you know spanish pink would work well and then go ahead and test in the chat now i got my cool little title too and then go ahead do it again to show my red little aura all right now it's all coming together but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here so make sure to smash that like button hit subscribe and i will see you guys in the next episode